Hi everybody, it's me, our Dallas from Nimble Pros. And in this short video, we're gonna take a look at how to improve your Windows Terminal experience using terminal icons. First, let's just launch a Windows Terminal. Now, you can do that without leaving your keyboard by just hitting the Windows key or Start button, typing WT, Enter. Right now, boom, you've got Windows Terminal. And by default, it's going to navigate to the default folder that you've set as your home folder. Now from there, I want you to navigate to wherever you keep your code files and look at the contents of that folder using LS or similar. Now I'm looking at the eShop on web reference application that I worked on for Microsoft for many years. And they were gracious enough to turn that over to Nimble Pros to maintain. And they've decided to use their eShop as just their Aspire sample more recently. Now the eShop on web sample is still being supported by Nimble Pros, and it's a great reference application for .NET 8 or 9 apps. But I digress. Let's look at the file contents, right? Here they are. You can see that they're not pretty, but they are pretty boring. Let's see if we can liven that up. So we're gonna use a tool called Terminal Icons. By the way, here's the eShop on web, which you can get from github.com, Nimble Pros, eShop on web, and then Terminal Icons, which is available from github.com slash devblackops slash terminal icons. All right, so to install terminal icons, all you have to do is run this script right here to install the module. So I'm gonna copy that, jump back to my Windows terminal here and install it. Now I've already done this step, so this should take no time at all. In fact, it's telling me you have to be an admin, which is fine. We can control click to add a new window bring in an admin window, paste it in, and it's still just gonna tell me that it already has it because I already did it, all right? But that's not enough for anything to really change. Okay, so let me just close this, close this. We'll start a new Windows terminal just to make sure everything is up to date. And you can see that not much has changed, all right? So the trick is that you have to also run import module. Now this one does not need to be run from an admin terminal, just the installation does. But once you import the module, and you run this again, wow, look at that. All right, now we've got nice icons and instead of this boring lifeless folder and file names, you can see we've got icons for GitHub. We've got VS Code. We've got bin and source have their own types of icons as well and colors. It knows about Docker and Git files like Git attributes or Git ignore. It even knows and recognizes those yucky YAML files. It can see markdown files as being their own thing and, and uses a gear for props folders, files for whatever reason. You can see it's got great support for Docker. Again, it's got Visual Studio icons for solutions. Those might have to change because eventually those are gonna be a .NET thing, I think, and not just a Visual Studio thing. They're already supported from the .NET CLI, so we'll see what happens there. You've got support for JSON, README files, all that stuff is in here. It even has a custom icon for your license. So that is pretty cool. All right, so now for this to work, you just have to remember to type in this command every time you launch a new Windows terminal, because if you don't, and we just launch another terminal here, and we go to that same GitHub folder like this, it's not there. All right, well, fortunately, you can actually pretty easily make this your default setting. You just need to edit your profile. And to do that, you just type code, dollar pro tab for profile. It should autocomplete. You can do whatever editor you want. You don't have to use code. So if you prefer notepad, that'll work just as well. And then somewhere in here, you wanna add that import module statement, right? I'm gonna just uncomment it out from mine because I already had that. And then once you save that and close it out, the next time you create a new window, you're gonna have all those icons working right from the start. Now I do wanna give a shout out to Jason Taylor for showing these to me at Techarama Netherlands recently. If you did find this useful, please like and subscribe and consider sharing it with your coworkers who would also like to escape their boring gray terminals. Until next time, keep improving.